I mean, here in Clark, that was easily retained by independent Andrew Wilkie, as expected, and in the southern seat of Franklin, that was retained by Labor, also as expected. But the three seats that we were really watching in Tasmania last night were the seats of Lyons, Bass and Braddon. Now, in Lyons, that's um, the incumbent member is Labor's Brian Mitchell. It is a marginal seat, and Brian Mitchell has suffered a swing against him. He's still ahead in the count, but we're still, um, we don't have a definite result on that seat yet. Labor was hoping, obviously, for a, a much easier um, win there. In Bass, that um, has been held by the Liberals' Bridget Archer, a very marginal seat. That seat is in doubt at the moment, but it is, um, Bridget Archer is leading there. In Braddon, in the northwest and west of Tasmania, that was another seat that Labor had its eye on, which would have been important um, if Labor was to form a majority government. That has easily gone um, back to the Liberal member Gavin Pearce and it's now no longer considered a marginal seat. The um, Labor candidate Chris Lynch um, last night spoke about his disappointment uh, for his own campaign but also that um, he was happy with Labor's national result. Here's a little bit of what he had to say last night. I'm not sure. Um, the conversations I had uh, today, in fact, the conversations I've had over the entire campaign, really, you know, have been about uh, issues that people were pretty, um, pretty determined to sort out. You know, the health, the cost of living, those sort of things. Um, I think Labor actually offered up a pretty good suite of policies for those things, but uh, it appears that the voters, um, you know, maybe think otherwise. Loretta, what does this election result in Tasmania mean moving forward? Well, here in Clark, um, being held by an independent member, Andrew Wilkie, we're expecting, um, if we get the, the result we're expecting with a minority Labor government, Andrew Wilkie will have a lot more power in the parliament, given the number of independents that will be, um, will be there. So even though it was a, an easy win for him, it's potentially quite an interesting um, result overall for Clark. As I mentioned before, Labor has held Franklin in the South. The member there, Julie Collins, has been in Parliament since 2007. She's a former minister and she's been on the Labor shadow um, front bench. So we could potentially have a minister um, from Tasmania in the new cabinet. Um, so we'll, we'll wait and see um, what happens there. And Senator Abetz, meanwhile, is locked in a tight battle. Well, that's right. Um, so we've had uh, two Liberals elected to the Senate so far, um, but Senator Abetz was placed third on the ticket in a much more difficult to win spot. Um, so his colleagues, Jonathan Dunningham and Wendy Askew, um, are being returned to the Senate. Labor has one definite seat in the Senate, which is Anne Urquhart. Her Labor colleague, Helen Polly, who is a sitting Senator, is likely to win a second seat for Labor. The Greens' Peter Wish Wilson is also elected to the Senate, um, but the fifth, or the sixth seat, sorry, um, has been a bit of a contest um, between Erica Betts and the Jackie Lambie Network's candidate Tammy Tyrrell, um, as well as the local party and potentially Labor. But um, from the results last night, the ABC is predicting that that seat will go to Tammy Tyrrell from the Jackie Lambie Network. So it's looking at the, at the moment that um, Erica Betts's political career might be over, um, at least for the time being. Yesterday he spoke to us about how he had been put third on the Liberal ticket in the 1990s and came back into the Senate on a casual vacancy, um, but it really doesn't look good for him on the results at the moment. All right, Loretta Loberger there in Hobart. Thank you.